today I want to talk to you guys about what makes a good player a good player. A good shooting game player. I think it's split into two parts. The physical part and the mental part. Yes, there is a physical part to Call of Duty. You guys are probably thinking, what physical side? When I say physical, I don't mean sports and being fit or anything. That being said, Call of Duty and shooting games is a twitch shooter. It's all about hand-eye coordination. Whoever gets on the target first will usually get the kill. It's not always like that. I know there's bullshit, there's there's lag and all annoying little twitches when when you get shot, when your aim gets all over the place. Let's pretend that's not even a factor though. If you have good reflexes, nine nine times out of ten you'll win gunfight. I think those two are crucial. Because if if you don't have good eye coordination or re good reflexes, you will just get raped by someone because people will just aim at you first and usually whoever aims first gets the kill. I think when you're physically active, your brain functions at a much faster rate than someone who's not active. And I, I know there's some older people that are listening to this commentary. What I'm trying to say is, when you're at like the age of 40 or something, I think you're past your prime and I think you just have to deal with the 12 year olds crushing you in this game because by that age your reflexes aren't probably as good as they used to be. I don't know what it's like to be old. Well the mental side to Call of Duty is gets, it gets a bit complicated but uh, I don't think it's complicated but to some it can be. One of the most important things you want to know what, about the Call of Duty game is when it comes out is map knowledge. Map knowledge is, without a doubt, the most important thing. Where's the, what's map knowledge? Map knowledge is knowing spawn points, knowing enemy traffic areas, just stuff like that. As to learn how to uh, learn spawn points, you'll see it all over the game. I think if you want to do well, you have to pay attention to traffic areas, to spawns. I think it, it's, it's just a hot spot to the map where people like to run, where people hang out. Another thing to learn is camping spots. Everyone hates campers, I know. But to be honest, if you know where they camp and they usually just stay, it's very easy kills. Once you know how to counter the campers, it's not a problem at all. But yeah, learn camping spots and they'll save you a lot of frustration and getting mad, so yeah. I also think that it's a sensitivity choice. There isn't actually a certain sensit sensitivity choice that it's the best. I think that if you're a sniper, someone that always locks onto people, long range shots, you want to be quick and accurate, I'd probably use the higher end sensitivities between 12 and 20 sensitivity, or like if the highest is 10, maybe go to 7 to 10. Next up is the medium range, like marks and rifles, like start rifles, low sensitivity. Anywhere between the lowest sensitivity, between 1 to 8, or if the highest sensitivity is 10, I'd go like 1 to 4. If you want to use submachine guns and shotguns, I think I'd use the middle, middle sensitivity range. Anywhere between 8 to 14. I say this because you're in a close range and you would want to move around a lot just to see and be, make sure that the person around you doesn't kill you first so you want to be aiming at them as quick as possible and when someone is close it's it's hard to move slow because if your sensitivity is low and someone's close to you they'll just it'll just be hard to turn on them or do anything so if your sensitivity is high then you're right there and you can just turn as quick and just start aiming at them and start shooting well yeah that's all for today i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Peace.